Hello, welcome to Leslie Lois Unfiltered. Uh, happy Monday. How was your weekend? I know a lot of people had off today for President's Day. <laughs> I did not, <laughs> but I think a lot of people I was probably gonna try to get hold of had off today. So uh, I did a bunch of other stuff, I guess, in the meantime. I hope you enjoyed your weekend. I know Valentine's Day was on Friday. Do anything special? Uh, my husband told me in the, when we first started dating that he does not like Valentine's Day. He won't do anything for it. And uh, he's like, I'll do stuff every other time of the year, every other day, but not on <laughs> February 14th, which was fine. Uh, I didn't mind. <laughs> we, we did kind of, uh, I think we ordered in some food and that was what we did for Valentine's Day and caught up on some TV. I think he even played his video game. <laughs> that was his Valentine's gift. <laughs> I gave him was he could play some video games which he loves to do anyway uh, so I gotta ask you a question so what do you think of the lipstick I have on today <laughs> so uh, it is very interesting I, I, I like it so I got it from this company they're based here in Tucson Arizona but you can go on I think it's it's called nip lips dot com niplips.com and let me tell you an interesting concept so they were at an event actually it was kind of they they kind of partnered with uh, a, a brewery here in town to do this event and it was pretty cool because um, the beer sales from six to eight when this was going on uh, part of the part of the proceeds from those beer sales went to the Southern Arizona Center Against Sexual Assault. And that's the place I'm working uh, at right now for Dine Up for Safety. So it was really cool that they were doing this event. And so we went to support it, of course, and stuff. And so Nip Lips was there. And so it's this interesting, this interesting concept that supposedly the best lip color for your lips is the color of your nipple. Yeah, like your nipple. <laughs> we all, right? So how do you like, you're like, okay. Uh, so what you do is when you, when we went there, they had these like little pop-up little tents, you know, like those spray tan thing, tents, like you can zip it or whatever. So they had those and they give you this phone that has an app on it that's they created basically. So you go in and you take a close up, as close as you can get, picture of your nipple. And then <laughs> from there, it calculates and it gives you three colors that would be the best colors for your for your lips. So um, I had I, I ended up picking the color uh, a shade darker than what my the color of my nipple was. I tried on the one that was supposed to, it's supposed to match, and I actually really liked it. But um, what I liked about this color better was it gave me a little bit more color in my overall face. Because otherwise, I tend to come, kind of be very pale in my face. That's why I'm trying to wear a little bit more blush, just because, like, I really do. I, I have a very, like, I don't have a lot of color. So, <laughs> so that's why I went with this. And uh, they use a lot of natural ingredients and stuff in it, which I really cool, think is cool. And they also did this, like, four-step lip facial on, my, on our lips. Oh, my gosh. Uh, and again, it's all natural stuff. They don't like, if you don't want to get Botox and stuff like that, you could do this because this, I think in the second or third step, we put on this stuff. And again, it was natural, but you can, it's it not really tingling, but just below that, like a cool sensation. Well, you can feel it working and your my lips felt so soft because you put moisturize on afterwards. Oh my gosh, I loved it. Anyway, you might want to check them out. Lip niplips.com uh, they're a Tucson based uh, company but I think it's really cool what they're trying to do so if you like the color of my lips <laughs> maybe go check them out uh, so that that was that was pretty cool so I got to tell you something that happened this weekend that my husband and I did. We've been wanting to watch this show for a while, and I know we are way behind. <laughs> We're late to the party, but we just started watching iRobot. Oh my gosh, hooked on the first episode. I don't know why I didn't watch it when it was out, but oh my gosh, it's so good. Remy Malek is so good in this. And there we are one episode away from finishing season one. There's four seasons. Man, there are twists and turns that neither my husband and I saw coming. Like literally, we're, I yelled at one of the episodes, what? Wait, what? Usually we see some kind of clue that we can figure something out or go, okay, like, but there's been like three or four times where we both are like, 
whoa, where did that come from? Oh my gosh. Like it's just, I, I love, I love shows that make you do that. And just, you can't stop thinking about them. That's what's happening uh, with me watching iRobot. So can't, uh, maybe you haven't seen it either. You can turn, uh, maybe I turned you on to something new. Speaking of TV, you know what's on tonight? Oh, hometown dates on The Bachelor. It's coming down here pretty soon. And again, I think it's going to, as my friend at work said, it's going to be a shit show. <laughs> so I can't wait to watch. I'll give you an update tomorrow and tell you my take on the whole thing. Uh, I think they're portraying it almost like there's going to be major drama with Victoria, but I don't know. I think she's going to end up staying because they're really good at editing to think that something's going to happen and then it's com something else completely. I'm sure there's drama with her, but I think it's going to be Victoria, Hannah, Ann, and Madison as the top three. They're going to fantasy suite dates. So we'll see what happens. All right. Uh, I'll talk to you again on the next Leslie Lewis Unfiltered. Until then, bye. Oh, I should. Yeah, I'll tell you an update tomorrow on the Bachelor stuff. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye.